Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. One pattern I want you to notice here uh, of the ES is how price has been uh, trading a day up, a day down, a day up, a day down over the last uh, week of trading. You see here we had a day up and down in one day, then up. This was a small back and then up. This was down, then up. And now we're seeing that day down here, something we talked about in the trading room yesterday. Uh, we mentioned uh, any fade of the previous sessions high and close since they were so close together would suggest a move back to the midpoint uh, of the previous session and followed by a move to the previous low. Now, this is normal for what we've been seeing here lately. So this doesn't mean that we have to see a big drop. But if we start to push now, below 2700 that's where things get very interesting and we may see an increase of accelerated movement downward toward 2600 so again uh, while this is showing weakness at the moment we'll see how price responds off 2700 that's been a, a key short-term low of the four-day range here for the ES alright let's take a look here at the NQ Right now, the NQ has more space to run to the downside. The previous session's midpoint is 85.14 half, and right now we're trading 85 tens. Uh, we've already seen a retracement back to the mid, and now breaking through 8500 would suggest uh, opening up the lower half of the previous session's range. So that's when we would drop into the previous session's low. Again, this market uh, continued steadily higher through 8500 yesterday, through uh, 8700 reaching a high at 8710 and now we're seeing a pullback here again this pullback could be rather lengthy if it starts to find acceptance below yesterday's midpoint as it could lead to a move back to the previous sessions low and if price does drop uh, quite a bit lower again anything below that 8250 8200 could be an opportunity for bulls to jump back in for a bounce uh, anything as, sh as deep as 8000 and as a matter of fact, is that was the break to the upside here. Any pullback as deep as that could still be a buy as this thing continues to channel higher, perhaps. All right, let's take a look here at crude oil. Now, crude oil is on the verge of what could be a pretty significant squeeze opportunity. Uh, if, I, if I jump into the chart here, let's jump in a little closer like this. You'll notice I have two key ranges. I have the initial key range here and the 20 half levels where I talked about before if it can hold that zone we could squeeze here and here and we got it in two days um, and then we saw the key range reversal from that down to the bottom and now today in overnight trading or pre-market trading here we got a move down as low as 1920 that takes out the previous month's low of 1927 and we're now off the lows here trading 1974 below that 19 uh, 1995 previous sessions low here and also below 20 bucks and if you go down to the intraday chart call it a, a 15 minute chart a one minute chart even a 60 minute chart you'll see compression down at those lows over the last four to five hours and that could be getting people short ahead of what could be a pretty big squeeze so if price is able to reclaim the twenty dollar label here later on in the day that could trigger a squeeze that could lead to uh, a day time frame move say back toward 2171 perhaps even a move back toward 2450 or as high as 2850 over the course of the next one to two weeks here so again we don't know uh, we're, we may not get another major move like this but we could see quite a squeeze that could turn out if again the bulls come out to defend that twenty dollar price which right now again there's a very clear range and we'll see if that range can be broken to the upside again twenty dollars the level to watch there all right lastly taking a look at gold futures you'll see here with gold futures uh, we have a very clear uptrending uh, market here this thing has been trending nicely higher you can see here uh, again Prices below the previous session's low right now trying to be rejected. A bit of a higher low forming off the 1740 level. 
this could provide a good bounce opportunity into 1800. So right now we're trading 4470. We may see an 1800 here over the next one to three days from this pullback. We didn't get quite as low as that 1700 I mentioned before. When we got the initial squeeze, I mean, I meant it, I said if we came back to 1700, that could be an 1830. Uh, that would have gotten us below the eight period average as well. That's still an idea that could still play out. But right now, again, uh, if price starts to reject this previous low here, by the end of the day, there could be a slingshot move toward 1800 over the next one to three days. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trade room. Take care.